It is Wednesday night, February 6th. We welcome you to the Midland Civic Arena. It is time for high school hockey on MPS TV. Alongside Northwood coach Mike Vesna, my name is Jason Harper. And Vesna, tonight is round number two of the regular season between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. This time, the Chargers are the home team, but that's the only difference from uh, December when these teams first met. Now they meet again a little bit later, a little more seasoning under their belt, but it's still Chargers, Chemex, it's still high school hockey. Absolutely. Same locker room, same benches that they're used to, but Crosstown rival, you know they always get fired up for this one. The Dow High Chargers coming in with an 11-7 and seven record. They are 1-2 and two in the Saginaw Valley. The Midland High Chemex coming in with a 7-8-1-1 one one record. They are 3-1 and one in the Saginaw Valley, but both teams have had the same issues in the Saginaw Valley, and that is a lot of cancellations, which means the last two weeks of the regular season will be very busy for both teams. Yeah, a lot of hockey. Now they're playing the 17s instead of the 15-minute periods. You're going to be having two, three games a week instead of your one on a Wednesday, one on a Saturday. So conditioning is definitely going to play a factor down the stretch. If this season wears on, if you mentioned that the fatigue becomes a factor, the wear and tear on a, on a body, they're young, but there's still a lot of uh, wear and tear that uh, to be had. But both of these teams are very confident uh, that they have improved so much since the beginning of the season. Both coaches, Steve Witt for Midland High, Dick Blasey for Dow High, both coaches are very happy where their teams are. They like the improvement that they see. Well, yeah, I've been watching them off and on all season as they usually play before or after the Northwood games quite a bit. And you can definitely see the improvements. I think the biggest thing with uh, Midland High is the confidence in the younger kids, being able to play with the older kids, and just learning the systems. They've been doing well together. Dow High, they've always been a strong powerhouse team, but they're finally starting to learn the lines that click, you know, what they need to do to, to be successful. A, stay aggressive. B, stay out of the penalty box. And both teams are coming off uh, some of their best games of the entire season. The Dow High Chargers coming off a 5 nothing win this past Saturday. Dick Blasey was very pleased with what he saw as a very tough uh, Forest Hills team. The Midland High Chemics coming off a 6-5 to five overtime win against Muskegon Reef Puffer. So both coaches feel momentum may be on their side. Well, absolutely. I mean, it's a consistency point of view. Midland High had the lead early just because they were just playing great. Kind of set back on their heels. Next thing you know, they're tied going into overtime. But dug deep, found that win. Good feeling. Dow High went down to that very, very tough Trenton Showcase tournament where you get some of the best teams in the states, and they did well. They skated with them. Even their loss, they skated with the team. So they're very excited and confident about what, where they're heading down the stretch. And that is something that we've seen both teams do uh, in the in the past couple of years, and that is both teams going to those showcase tournaments a lot more than what teams used to be. In fact, Midland High's got a showcase tournament this coming weekend that they're competing in. And so when you play the tough competition, when you go down to other parts of the state and you're facing non-local teams, you can only get better because you're playing better competition. Well, even if you lose those games, if you're in them, the, the time to lose is during the season, but you learn your weaknesses so you can turn them into strengths. But, uh, you know, you don't think Midland's too far north, but realistically, these teams down in the Detroit area, they don't need to travel up here to play that good competition. So the Midland teams do need to break away from the region to play that better competition if they want to learn their weaknesses and turn them into strengths. Well, let's talk about the Dow High Chargers a little bit. They're the home team tonight under head coach uh, Dick Blasey. And you mentioned a little bit earlier that they're playing well. They're not always getting the puck in the net. Dick Blasey said he wants to see more scoring and uh, less penalty box time. Yeah, Dow High, very talented team in terms of skating. Uh, I tell you what, below the shoulders, they're the, one of the best teams I've seen skate in a long, long time. Their biggest thing is that they got to stay focused mentally and, and stay out of the penalty box. In the, the first Midland game, they took quite a few penalties and off and on during the year. When they're not going to the penalty box, they're having their most success, scoring their most goals. Yeah, in fact, the Dow High Chargers, uh, close to over 250 penalty minutes on the season compared to a Midland High team that has less than 100 penalty minutes. The Midland High Kimmicks stay out of the penalty box a little bit more. This is a Midland team that had a lot of freshmen very young, and Steve Witt, the head coach for Midland High, told us earlier that you know, everybody's talking about the future of Midland High. He says the future is now. The freshmen are playing well. He wants to win now. Well, absolutely, because you know nobody cares about next year at this stage of the season. You want to win, you want to have momentum going into the postseason, and you want to make a mark. Nothing builds momentum and builds a winning program if you're just saying, hey, you know, we're rebuilding for next year. The word rebuilding in any sport is a bad thing. So Steve Witt right on target. He's got his young kids. They've bought in. They're, they're contributing. I mean, the number two 
scoring kid on the Midland High Chemics is a freshman. And he wants to see that development from the freshman. He wants to see them perform well tonight. He's a Dow High team that is ranked in Division Three in the state. They're coming, I believe, to, uh, they're, I believe they're number eight in the state, although I'm not 100% on that, Vessie. But this is a Dow High Charger team that is very confident as they played the final three weeks of the regular season. Yeah, the last ranking I saw, they were at 10 because they did have a couple of those losses, but I have not seen the most recent. So maybe after the Trenton Showcase, they've moved up to eight, but. E either way, 10 or eight, when you're a top, top 10, 10 in the state. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's a look at uh, Midland High if they come onto the ice in preparation for the game here tonight. Midland High wearing their uh, away blue uniform with the, uh, the gold lettering for the contest here tonight. Again, uh, we mentioned under head coach of Steve Wood, the same Midland High Kimmick team that is young, but this is a team that definitely keeps on improving. They come in to this game with a 7-8-1-1 one, and one record, an overtime loss, and then an overtime tie is uh, how that 1-1 uh, one and one works out. Dow High Chargers under head coach Dick Blasey coming into this game with that 11-7 and seven record as the uh, Chargers skating, taking their uh, warm-up laps around their side of the ice. So we are just about set to go. High school hockey on MPS TV. We've got a great crew of about a dozen staff and volunteers. We've got seven cameras to bring you the action on MPS TV. And if you can find us on YouTube, you can stream the game in high definition Whoa. as the Chargers and Kimmicks do battle. Let's turn things over to public address announcer Randy LaRue. Kimmicks versus your Dow High Chargers. First, the starting lineup for your Midland High Chemex. Forward, number two, Brady Pinmore. Forward, number six, Tyler Pritchett. Forward, number 20, Matthew Witt. Playing defense for Midland High, number 10, Nathan Witt. Playing defense, number 14, Connor Dunlop. And goal tonight for your Maryland High Chemics, number 35, Luke Boza. <laughs> Coaches for Maryland High, Kevin Blazy, Nick Mammel, and Chad Sumption. Head coach, Steve Witt. And now for your Dow High Chargers starting lineup. For number 82, Junior Alec Newton. For number 88, Junior Austin Yider. Forward, number 96, Junior Luke Blazy. Playing defense for your Dow High Chargers, number 15, sophomore Mason Reed. Playing defense, number 55, senior Joey Johnson. And goal tonight for your Dow High Chargers, number 35, freshman Colin Lemansky. Dow High is coached by Jeff Richards, John Hollingsworth, Jason Hall. Jordan Yos, head coach for Dow High Chargers, Dick Blasey. The privilege of this game was made possible by those who fought and continue to fight for our freedom. Let us honor and respect our country by gentlemen removing their caps and everyone standing at attention facing the U.S. flag at the south end of the rink as the Dow High Pep Band plays the national anthem.
Show ends and, up, and we are set to go for high school hockey on MPS TV. The HH Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Chemex on a uh, Wednesday night. Neither team has seen a lot of action in the recent weeks due to all the uh, snow and ice. And uh, again, the the players today, today happened to be a uh, weather day for so the students did not have school. And that always plays a factor because your routine is messed up. And routine, uh, Vezzi, is very important when it comes to an athletic team. Yeah, you don't think about it, but just laying around sleeping all day does not bode well for your energy until you get that leg and blood pumping again. See, uh... Just out of the shoot, talking about the young guns. Uh, three freshmen starting for Midland High today. Yeah, the, you talk about young. Both teams are young. There's one senior out of the 12 players starting in today's contest. One senior, and that's from Dow High. Everybody else, a underclassman. The Dow High Chargers starting with their defenseman Mason Reed and Joey Johnson. They will have Alec Newton, Austin Geider, and Luke Blasey as their forwards. And uh, Colin Lemansky, a freshman, is starting in goal for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High, Brady Penwar, Tyler Pritchett on the wings. Matt Witt will be in the middle. Connor Dunlap is on defense along with Nathan Witt. And Luke Busa is in goal. So a freshman starting for the Dow High Chargers, a sophomore in net for the Midland High Kimmicks. Off and running with high school hockey on MPS TV. The Dow High Chargers across the blue line. First shot of the game happens to be off net. Chargers wearing their white home uniforms with the green numbers. Midland High wearing blue and gold as the away team. And the action down in the Midland High end right now. Luke Blasey working with the puck behind net. Blasey trying to center it up. Nobody there for the Midland High Kimmicks will clear the puck off into a neutral life and down into the down high zone where defenseman Mason Reed will take it back to a neutral life. Blasey down below in front of us will send it out. The foot race is on with Joey Johnson beating the Midland High Kimmicks down the ice for the down high Chargers. Kimmicks going to a little bit of a uh, line change. Dow High tries to take advantage. Lucas Churchfield, he's a junior, takes the puck back in the Midland High zone. Midland looking to clear with Travis Grimaldi. Grimaldi, a senior, one of the few seniors on the ice for the Midland High Kimmicks. Midland High on the far side, skates across the blue line. Does Gavin Moe, he's a junior. Now working behind the net of the Kimmicks. I think Daniel had the puck briefly. Now cleared out back to the top. K. Nielsen keeping it in play. Goes over to Mo. Mo with a backhand will center it up. And a shot taken by Travis Grimaldi is off net. And the Dow High Chargers will come back the other direction. Backhanded in by Nolan Sanders. Chargers will go to a line change. As do the Kimmicks. And the Kimmicks will skate out of their zone. Two minutes in to this uh, Midland Dow hockey battle. And they battle right below us. Shocking four position. Great camera work by our staff and volunteers bringing you the action here on MPS TV. Nielsen behind the net. Clears it out nicely to Cameron Gardner. Gardner scoops it across. But Dow High will clear it back. Millen High takes it back into the zone. Millen High had a man offside, and that is what is going to be called. As uh, Midland High's Ethan Snotty never uh, touched up, so the Kimmix will be offside. First whistle and back and forth. Pretty good flow the first couple of minutes, Bevy. Yeah, so far, nobody taking charge. Uh, Dow High, the first 30 seconds, kind of had some attacking zone presence. But after that, it's been back and forth, up and down. Nobody able to get that attacking zone stability. Chargers won the first meeting back in December between these two teams. Both teams coming off wins. Midland High winning. In overtime, Dow High with a very dominating performance against the tough Forest Hills Northern Eastern team. Chargers at neutral ice. They stay on side, skating it in. First shot, and it's going to be deflected off of the Midland High goalie, Luke Buza. Yeah, Mason Reed getting a good pass from Lucas Churchfield there with some speed coming through the neutral zone. Kind of dig the defenseman there, got caught on his heels. In for a good quality scoring opportunity. 14 minutes to go here in the opening period. Each team had a couple of shots. Only one shot on goal registered so far in the game. Chargers Johnson clearing it, sending it towards the Midland High net. But the Chargers could not get free. Another centering pass. 
Shot taken from the far side. I think that may have been McMahon possibly uh, coming up with that shot. And now back into the neutral zone where Johnson will keep it in play. Joey Johnson, a senior on the Chargers. Tried to find Blasey. This is the top line on the ice for the Dow High Chargers. Cleared out by Mason Reed. Headed back the other direction now is Austin Yider. Yider goes between the legs of the defenseman. And a kick save made by Busa. Yeah, Dow doing a pretty good job of standing up Midland High right now. As Midland High, as you can tell, they don't have a lot of speed coming through the neutral zone. Dow High standing them up, taking control, transitioning right back into the attacking zone. Midland High's got to work a little bit harder here to try to get some pucks deep. Faceoff goes to the right of the goalie, kept into play by the Chargers, and a shot that floats over the net. Nice shot there by Shane A. Strike. Yeah, Booza never saw that, but uh, thank God it was a little high. A strike, one of the top scorers on the Dow High team, along with Lazy, did not get the start tonight for the Dow High Chargers. But A strike will fire again, and a glove save made by Busa. Well, Dick Lazy before the game was talking about how they want to work on scoring more and more often. You can tell that in their game plan right now is get the puck on net, crash, and see if you can't get some rebounds or get a tip. No score early on. Kimmicks and Chargers High School Hockey. Wrapping up our regular season coverage of high school sports on MPS TV. Again, the faceoff to the right hand side of Busa, and the faceoff will be won by the Chemex of Travis Ramondi. Tries to take it out, but the Chargers are going to keep it down into the Midland High zone. Battling in the corner, cleared out. Midland High does barely get it across the neutral ice. Tyler Pritchett will take it into the Dow High zone for Midland High. Dumps behind him, but nobody there. Chargers come back the other direction. Austin Soper with the puck fire from the blue line. That shot is off net. Goes back into the corner. Chargers will keep it in play. Yeah, you got the senior Tyler Pritchett working with the two freshmen, Pinwire and Witt. Now Nielsen comes across for Midland High, but nice defense being played by Shane Aistrike. Does not allow Nielsen to get through anywhere near the freshman goalie getting the start tonight, Colin Lemansky. Tyler Pritchett working the puck now for the Midland High Chemics. Pritchett goes across the blue line, kind of dribbles one, and Lemansky will cover that up. Yeah, that puck had uh, a little trickery to it. You could tell every time that puck bounces, it was doing something different. But uh, just a simple little flip on net, but a weird bounce. Stranger things have happened. Got the, uh, the bounce of the, the Midland Civic Arena bounce. The Midland Civic Arena bounce. Or the fact that the puck's not around bounce. I thought Lemansky kind of played that a little softer than he should have when he got a bouncing puck, but the save was made. Face off to the left. Got away with it. Chargers winning the face off. Blazy takes off on the drop trying to do the quick hit. But Dunlop right there with him. Johnson with a good hit into the boards. Good check by Johnson. The Chargers will come away with the puck. Nice little drop by Alec Newton. Newton looking to get it back, but the Midland High Kimmicks back on defense. Nathan Witt will send it the other way, but now Caden Critz will go back the other direction for the Dow High Chargers. 11 and a half minutes to go. First period. No score. Shot on goal there. Walked right on up to Abusa. And a good scoring chance just laid it down into the uh, bread basket, did the Chargers. Yeah, I think he had a little more time there. He had Booza squared up on him. I don't want to say it was an easy save, but it was a, a, a common save for Booza. Face off one by the Chargers, centering it up. Johnson now with the puck, fires, and a rebound shot. Another save made by Booza. Great scoring chance by the Chargers. Johnson's shot was rebounded. Austin Geiger was right there, but Busa coming up with back-to-back -back saves. Yeah, I think Geiger would like to have that one back right there. He, too, had a little more time than he thought because watch the initial shot, Busa with the rebound, but Geiger just needs to get that thing a little higher. Goalie coming across low, take the puck high, but nonetheless, back-to-back -back great saves by Busa right there. The Chemex getting the right personnel on the ice and they'll have to get a new man to take the face off. Chargers win the face off, albeit briefly, and now the Midland High Chemics will skate the puck across center ice. Gardner, or excuse me, that was Tanner Squire backhanding it in. 
But now the Chargers looking to come back the other direction with Joey Johnson and the Chargers will be offside. Yeah, you had it right there. Had the puck with speed going into the attacking zone. Kind of slowed up at the blue line where the uh, the far winger thought he was going to go straight in. Got caught off sides. Get the puck in the zone and then dipsy do if you're going to. High school hockey on MPF TV. We're available on Charter Spectrum channels 188 to 191. We're also on AT&T Uverse on channel 99. And you can find our games in high definition on YouTube as Busa comes up with another save for the Midland High Chemics. For more information on when the games will air, you can head online to the Midland Public Schools website, midlandpf.org, or check the uh, Sunday edition of the Midland Daily News. And check us out on Charter, Uverse, or YouTube. Midland High behind their own net, looking to try to get out the puck out of their zone. Dow High has done a pretty good job of keeping the action down at the Midland High end for most of this first period. Only one real good shot that the Kimmicks have had. Chargers, meanwhile, have had a couple of different scoring opportunities. Yeah, a little bit more of a shooting range for Dow High. Midland needs to get the puck deep and get at it. And again, strong defense played by the Chargers. John Wagner will keep it in play. Now Nolan Sanders, a freshman, working it against the boards, and the puck will be cleared out into neutral life, but the Chargers will be able to regroup. Got the senior A strike working with the freshman Stottlemyre back on the points for Dow High. Good transition, good puck deep. Midland High being able to bring it right out, though. Grimaldi escapes it across, oh, and Grimaldi shoots and scores. The Kimmich are on the board first. Yeah, I'm not too sure if Lemansky just didn't see that or not, but it was a pretty shot upper corner. But I tell you what, something that looks so innocent found the back of the net. Grimaldi from the blue line. Let's take a look at this, Bethany. Yeah, he just gets the puck nonchalantly, just throws it on net. But I tell you what, he picked himself a corner. Lemansky almost looked like he was going, thought he was going wide, but can't really tell if that was redirected or not. I don't think it was. I didn't think so. You don't, you don't uh, score if you don't shoot, and Grimaldi scoring the first goal for the Midland High Chemics. He's a senior, Travis Grimaldi, from the blue line up into the corner of the net, and the Midland High Chemics with a one to nothing lead over the Dow High Chargers here early on, where nine and a half minutes to play in the first period. Midland High goal, score by number 13, Travis Grimaldi. Unassisted goal scored by Grimaldi. And now Busa will uh, cover it up. Now, uh, that's the interesting uh, case of what will happen. Will that spark Midland High? Hey, we got the lead. We can play with the Dow High Chargers, or will this light a fire under Dow High? Well, that's exactly what needs to happen. Midland High's got to build on that, saying, hey, it doesn't matter what the shots are. It matters the quality scoring opportunities. But Dow's like, whoa, we've been controlling this without nothing to show. So maybe they'll dig a little deep for themselves. Well, Grimaldi gives Midland a one to nothing lead. Now Joey, or excuse me, that is uh, Austin Geiter that had the puck for Dow, but the Chargers off sides. Yeah, Austin Geiter doing the dipsy do at the blue again and caught his winger outside again. Get that puck in the zone and then set up. There's a look at uh, one of the officials for tonight's contest. Eric Ferguson. Eric Ferguson and Ryan Kalito are the ones with the orange bands on their uh, referee shirts. Matt McDonald and Nick Horn are the linemen for tonight's game. Midland High trying to look ahead and down to Isaac Daniel, but Daniel has the puck knocked away, comes out, and the Kimmicks will have to touch up, and that will give the Chargers a chance to come out of their own zone. Skating ahead, they were looking for Lucas Churchfield, but the puck goes by Churchfield behind the Midland High net. Kimmicks will control it, but now High does a nice job keeping it in. I believe that was Johnson, and now a shot from the right-hand side taken by Mason Reed is off the mark. Right out of the uh, Dow High bench, the Chargers looking to have a scoring chance. Backhand shot taken by Churchfield is stopped by Booza. Again, the Kemmicks with a 1-0 lead, though, having a hard time clearing the puck. Mikey McMahon. Oh, and there's nice one shot. that triples in the now high Chargers from the right-hand side. 
Is that uh, Blazy with the, the, the bad angle shot? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll check it out in a second. Definitely woke not the best. Yeah, you know, definitely was a, uh, a shot that uh, looked more of an afterthought than anything else, but it ended up taking that weird Midland Civic Arena bounce, and uh, it came in. Let's take a look. Yeah, Booza going across low. Looks like Lazy just nice shot inside the post. Yeah, I think he just ended up, uh, or was that, was that Blazy or was that uh, Alec Newton? Not really sure. Couldn't see the back of the jersey, but. Oh, there we go. They're going to give it to Soper. So how about that? Austin Soper gets the uh, down high goal. Yep, from Blazy. Well, there he goes, your spark plug. It sparked down high to kick it in, get some more pucks on net. So one to one, the score. Booza kind of committed early, and yet yeah, I couldn't tell who made that shot, but it was Soper that did so. But Soper's still on the ice. He's got the puck now for the, the down high charger. So give credit to the sophomore. There's a shot taken by Mikey McMahon. He was a junior. He was the one that started that last scoring drive for the Dow High Charger. He came right off the bench, took the puck into the zone, and Dow High able to get a couple of shots, including that one that went in for Soper. So we're tied at one with seven minutes to go here in the first period. Action down on the Dow High end this time around for the Chargers. Looking to clear it out. Patty is the one that uh, tried to. Gardner tried to keep it in play. Can't do it. Eventually cleared out by the Chargers. And we're going to have the first icing call of the night. Yeah, Dow High's doing a really good job of spreading the zone, getting their forwards, taking off, so to speak. And uh, their, their philosophy right now is get the puck out of your zone, get a tip, and go forecheck. Midland High is having a tough time establishing uh, some forechecking zone presence. They need to get that puck deep and go get it. Chargers have won the majority of the faceoffs here in the first period as well. And now the Dow High Chargers, McMahon working, a shot that is right, but Buzo putting a stick on it. Chargers again, they've been doing a great job the entire first period of keeping the puck in play. Now Midland High coming away, but before they could do anything in neutral life, the Chargers defense dropped it right back into the Midland High zone. Yeah, good read by Johnson on defense right there. Just steps up, takes that long crossing pass. Can't telegraph that pass. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to just be skating full speed and then throw it across. But Johnson rated the whole way. Turnover back into your defensive zone. All tied up one to one. The Kimmicks and the Chargers. Midland scored the first goal with Travis Grimaldi. Dow High answered back with Austin Sofer. Chargers win another face off shot by Johnson. Nearly got through. May have been deflected by Dow's own defenseman. Lazy. Fires, that one goes up and over net. Lazy with a check. Midland High comes away with a puck. Scoring chance for the Kimmick. Isaac Daniel across the blue line can't hold on to it. Now the Kimmick's working Gavin Moe on the far side. Back behind the net with Daniel battling for the puck. Cleared out back around on the near side. The Chargers come away. Again, Dow's defense. Dominating control of the puck and Luke Blasey looking to go coast to coast and Bufa making a shot slowed it down enough to deflect it off to the side. 5.30 to go here in the first period. Midland High unable to capitalize, icing waved off. Kimmich able to come up with the puck before it, it would have been icing nonetheless and now the Kimmich's it was cleared out. Midland High's got a find a way to get a substantial drive down into the uh, Dow High zone. Yeah, I mean, it's not spending much time in the defensive zone. The defense are doing a great job stopping Midland High and getting the puck trained up ice. Dow High playing a little more physical hockey than what the Midland High Kimmicks do. But so far, they've kept their head on their shoulders. All the hits have been timely. Matt Witt skating through a couple of Dow defenders and Witt was trying to get through, but could not do it. I don't want to jinx the Chargers, but so far, penalty-free hockey between these two teams. Yeah, everybody's focused on putting pucks on net instead of uh, being the big bully. John Wagner has got the puck for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High will put it back into the neutral zone. Now Chargers will come back into that Midland High zone. Shot taken by Shane A-Strike. 
now centers it up. This is Stadelmeyer. Could not get the puck through all the traffic. We've got a whistle and a stoppage. The uh, net, net dislodged. And the net came off the uh, marker, so that is what the stoppage is for. Good read, good step up by Stadelmeyer right there. And as typical Dow fashion tonight, put the puck on net. Yeah, Chargers have been doing a lot of that the majority of the game down in the Midland High zone, but we're tied. And that's the stat that counts is the one of uh, the goals scored, not how many uh, scoring opportunities the team has had. And we're tied at one. Kimmich coming free with the puck as Gardner tries to send it down in the Dow High zone. Once they get in the zone, though, not much pressure from the Kimmich. Witt will keep it in play, but a nice defensive move there by A-Strike. And now A-Strike's got the puck in the blue line. A-Strike fires, and Booza deflects it off to the side. Yeah, Booza busy often, but standing to the task so far. Nice job there by Dow High. Shane A-Strike again gets the job done defensively. A-Strike. Trying the long pass, had a man coming out of the uh, Charger bench and could not connect. Now Pritchett, he gets hit into the boards, loses the handle on the puck, and the Chargers will come back the other direction. A-strike dumps it. A-strike looking to get off the ice. Chargers have done a line change, but A-strike hasn't been able to clear. Now he does if Nolan Sanders works the puck down into the corner. Now working over for the Dow High Chargers. Center it up, Blasey with a shot, Buzo with a save. Johnson centers it over, Mason Reed fires the shot. Chargers couple of scoring chance, Reed winding up, fires again, Buzo another kick save, battle for the puck in front of the net, and Chargers able to come away. Mason Reed's gonna try, third time's the charm, this time Buzo is gonna cover it up. Yeah, like I said, Buzo busy off, and then right there, just point blank shot after point blank shot, Buzo tall to the task. Keeping this thing knotted at one. Flurry of uh, scoring chances for the Dow High Chargers. Well, you can tell Dow wants traffic up front and they want pucks on net. But then High, they got to do a better job getting the puck cleared in the corner and get it up ice. And the Midland High Kimmick with a uh, late substitution, so they will have to change out before the puck is dropped. Chargers win the faceoff. And now they have corrected the scoring of the last Dow High goal. I was right. You Bessie. were right. It was Newton. Alec Newton is the one that scored the goal Newton. for the Dow High Chargers. There's a shot taken by Mason Reed. Re Rebound goes over top of the net for the Dow High Chargers. Midland just taking a taking a breath. Ice that puck and regroup. And that is going to be what they. Uh, Attempt to do high school hockey on MPS TV this game produced by volunteers and staff if you would like to work on a show like this one sign up Become an MCTV volunteer at a workshop coming up You can learn how to be a producer create a studio program use professional cameras and so much more You can head online to the city of Midland website. You can call that number 837-3474 You can find us on Facebook Get a hold of us, let us know that you want to become an MCTV volunteer, and we'll let you know it's simple, it's easy, and it's all kinds of enjoyment. And you can produce your own shows. You can, if you got a topic on your mind, you can let the world know your opinion. You can even do a podcast if you want to. So, so many options if you become an MCTV volunteer. Chargers looking to center it up. Midland High, again, trying to clear it, and they barely do. Gardner, I think, played the body of that defender there. Beth. He could have played the puck. I think he had a, a chance to, to come away with the yeah. puck. Instead, he played the body, and Chargers will come back the other way. Yeah, I don't think he realized, right, that he had the, he had the lead and the puck. Not used to it today, so, you know, kind of went to the defensive state. Sanders will clear it down if the Chargers... Looking for a line change, but staying out there is Yider. We've got one minute to go in the period. Centers it up. Shot taken by A Strike is no good. And Bufa able to cover it up. No, nope, the net moved again. Isn't that what it was? Yep. So we have to get some water and try to freeze that in, but with 54 seconds, they'll try to get her locked in, I'm sure, for the next period. 
Well, that gives uh, the teams to kind of bring out their top line. Let's take a look. Yeah, there, there the uh, that net moved uh, just briefly. Yeah, it was a boof that was trying to dive on it, but. Uh, I mean, definitely some great leg saves there. Booza right to the left. Right leg, left leg. Definitely is the uh, the factor in the game right now. That is Booza. Mason Reed, he's had a lot of uh, shots from the blue line to start attempted charger scoring. Blazy trying to center it up, no, nobody was there. Under Good two on one break here. To go. You have to see what Witt can do. Pulls up and a glove save made by Lemansky. Well, he saw what his teammate did in uh, Grimaldi. Throw it on net. Good things might happen. But uh, good save by Lemansky. Got the whistle. 33 seconds to go. Face off to Lemansky's left. Now, with a freshman in net for the Dow High Chargers, I wonder if Steve Witt will make some adjustments, Vesey, at the end of the first period and be a little more aggressive on offense. I think he's got to. He's got to. He doesn't have a lot of offensive attack zone time, so he's got to get in the zone and get some shots on net. Try to create something to happen. That puck ended up hitting one of the linesmen, but Midland High unable to uh, capitalize on it. 20 seconds to go, and we're going to have icing sending it back down to the right hand side of Colin Lemansky. Yeah, let's see what happens right now. I have a sneaky feeling that what's going to happen is Dow is going to try to win the draw back to the corner. Off winger is going to take off and they're going to try to hit the strike with 19 seconds left. See if they can't sneak by Midland High and go get a one on goalie. Now let's see if uh, Vesey drew up the plan that they uh, opt to go with. There he goes, wins the draw, sends it around. The winger forgot to go. Well, you had most of the uh, most most of the game plan uh, formulated. Well, as soon as the puck was won into the corner, you Johnson was doing the hard wrapper. But they got 13 seconds. Give it, try it again. See if a uh, second time is the uh, charm. They got to do it the opposite direction. Oh yeah, you got the uh, you got the righty center, so it's not going to be as easy to put it in the corner this time. But he <laughs> did. <laughs> Chargers went in the face off. Not yep. quite wrapping it around, but now Joey. No, but Blazy did take off, and yeah. here he goes. The Eider feeds Blazy. Blazy trying to feed it back. Blaze will come away with it in the first period. Will come to an end here at the Midland Civic Arena. All tied up one to one at the end of the first period. But Vesey, this was a, uh, not the right, well, still tied, so that's right. But yep. nonetheless, uh, this was a first period of high school hockey that the now high Chargers had, you know, 60, 70% of the play was down in the Midland High zone. But we end the first period tied up one to one. Well, absolutely, Dow High's game plan worked almost to perfection. The only thing they would like to have is a couple more goals, but Booza standing strong in net, making some great point blank, you know, saves. That's the only reason this thing's tied up with 1-1 right now is because Booza's playing net. Yeah, Booza, Booza has played a great first period, stopping this Dow High Charger offensive attack, and then Travis Grimaldi, you know, taking that shot from the uh, the blue line, which was a shot that you know, needed. Midland High Chemics, I think, need to be a little more aggressive offensively, and you know, Grimaldi showed that. If you, you shoot, you can score, and that's where we stand. Grimaldi with the Midland High goal, and Alec Dutton with the Dow High goal. So we have reached the end of the first period here at the Midland Civic Arena. We'll take a quick timeout, come back, and get ready ready for the second 17 minutes of this high school hockey contest. You're watching High School Hockey on MPS TV. We're back with more right after this.
The MCTV Network helps Midland residents share their story with the community. Our media producer workshops will help you get started. In one short session, you will learn how to create media that will educate, entertain, and enrich the community in which we live. Get registered for a workshop by calling 837-3474, follow us on Facebook for more information, and search for MCTV Community Voices on YouTube and your podcast platform for more local stories. Join us to build a better community through media at MCTV. at the Midland Civic Arena. First period in the books, all tied up. The Midland High Gimmicks and the Dow High Chargers, one to one. As the Dow High Charger fans and the Dow High Pep Band uh, singing the Charger fight song, getting Dow High pumped up for a period number two. The Midland High Gimmicks, I'm sure that they were very uh, loose in the locker room before we went on the air. They were they were dancing a little Cupid shuffle and having a good time uh, getting ready for the contest here tonight. We're tied up at one. How did that happen? Well, Vezzi, let's take a look at some of the action from the first period of this contest. And uh, well, the Midland High goal, you always say pucks on net are a good thing. Proven in that first period, just kind of come in, pick your corner, throw it on net, and good things will happen. Just an innocent little wrist shot from just 10, cent, or 10 feet inside the blue. Beats him clean, glove side. Yeah, Travis Grimaldi fires it and just out of the reach of Lemansky. May have caught him a little by surprise, and then the Charger goal. Yeah, that was just a just hard work down low, keeping the puck alive, throwing it over to Newton. Newton with a bad angle shot, but a beautiful, beautiful bad angle shot just inside the post, just over Booza. It worked, so Alec Newton got the goal, Luke Placey got the assist. So here we go, the second period underway, tied up one to one. Switching direction from the now high Chargers. Will be going left to right, Midland High right to left. Long shot on goal. We'll see if Midland High is a little more aggressive here in the uh, second period and if Dow High have made any adjustments. Bessie, if uh, you were the coach of uh, these respective teams, so what adjustments have you made? Well, I'm thinking Dow High just stayed the course. They came out firing, kept the puck deep. They minimized the puck in the defensive zone, maximized it in the offensive zone. Just keep peppering, good things will happen because Booza stood on his head to keep this thing at one. Midland High, I think consistency. They came out and they played a few good minutes to start the game, then they fell into a lull. Then they got excited because they scored a goal, played good again, then they kind of fell in the lull. They need to put the pedal down to the metal here and they just need to stay aggressive. Get the puck out of their zone, get it in the attacking zone, but more importantly, Get after it. Get some good forechecking going. Create some attacking opportunities. Right now, it's just too easy for Dow High to get the puck out of their zone. Well, that's one of the things that uh, have plagued Midland High this year is the fact that they have uh, really haven't put three periods of hockey together. There was a uh, penalty that uh, have put the uh, Dow High Chargers in the penalty box. Tripping. Okay, Dow High penalty. Number 96, two minutes for tripping. Yeah, I'm sure right uh, Toledo saw that kill. trip. Yeah, I, I did not. I did so, not either. So uh, somewhat surprised that they had a, a guy in the box, but they did. They do. For the Dow High Chargers, where they tripping penalty, did not uh, catch the guilty person. But the Midland High Chemics will have the first power play. We went the entire first period without a penalty. And 43 seconds into the second period, we end up with a tripping call against the Chargers. So will the Chemics capitalize? They do there. The great shot take it, centered it up by uh, Travis Grimaldi. Can't Trying tell. To, almost looks like Blazy in the box. Trying to challenge the freshman goalie. Another shot by Grimaldi. Yeah, Pinmar doing his best to stand out front, create some traffic, getting some good tips. Kept in play by Nielsen, but only briefly. It, Again, I think the difference, and now the Chargers looking to go short-handed, skating it in, and Buso's got to make the save. Churchfield had the backhand attempt. Well, backhand, uh, 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 Churchfield, excuse me, with the good one-on-one -on -one move, snuck by Grimaldi there and went in and had the nice backhander. 
I think the difference here, the Midland High gimmicks with a great scoring chance, but they only ended up getting two shots on goal, where in the first period we saw the Dow High Chargers just repeatedly pepper Booza. Oh, absolutely, and, and uh, Booza's been tall to the task, but right now the Chargers, or the Chemics, had some pretty good a, a, attacking zone on the power play. Let's see if they can get back down there and keep her going. Well, they've got under a minute to go in the power play, and right now the puck is on the Midland High uh, zone, but the Chemics trying to skate it across neutral ice. See if they can take advantage. They've got 35 seconds to work the power play, and a big check into the board. We've got a penalty coming. Looks like uh, Mason Reed right in front of Ryan Coletto with the big hit. Not sure what the call is going to be, though. So the Midland High Gimmicks will have a five on three advantage. Let's take a look. Now, yeah, right there. Oh, yep, that's yep. what he got. Yep, no little, doubt about that one. A little face wash. That's ill advised when you're already short handed. Because now, with the game knotted at one, you put Midland High with their number one line fresh back on the ice for a five on three for 30 seconds. So we'll see if the Kemmings can capitalize. Uh, big power play for Midland High. Connor Dunlap, who had the game-winning goal in Midland's overtime win, had the puck briefly. Now skating, trying to keep it in play. If Nathan Witt centers it back up over top uh, to Matt Witt. Top line in from Midland, but the Chargers are still trying to clear it out. Midland will keep it in play. Tyler Pritchett with a shot, and Lemansky able to make the save. The first penalty is over. It's back to a regular power play for the next 90 seconds. Chargers down the man, looking to skate it in, and Buzov got to make the save. A great shot there taken by Shane Aimstrike. Yeah, coming off the uh, the good clear. Got his man on the ice, but Aimstrike just doing one on himself. Long shot on goal there for the uh, Dow High Chargers. Dylan High Kim has had a couple of uh, scoring chances during the five on three power play. They've got a minute to go on the regular power play. Tyler Pritchett has the puck stolen away. Chargers will come back the other direction. Luke Blasey has the uh, puck knocked away by Witt. Now this is Squire skating it in for the Midland High Kimmich. Tanner Squires fires, but that shot is off net. 45 seconds to go in the power play. Yeah, we call those breakout shots. He shoots it wide of the net hard right around the boards. Right out to Blazy. Easy breakout down. So now instead of four checking on net, you're back checking. Now Blazy going every which direction with the puck will float it over and a shot taken by Churchfield and a kick save made by Busa. 20 seconds to go in the power play. Kimmich, Pritchett, trying to skate it in. Tyler Pritchett does. Pritchett fires, has the shot blocked by a Dow High defenseman. Sanders was the one that blocked it. Now coming in, shot taken by Snotty, and a save made. And we've got a Kimmich player, maybe a little shaken up. The power play is done. Chargers out of the penalty box. A successful power kill for the Dow High Chargers. We remain tied one to one. Well, Midland High doing a better job of getting the puck out of their zone this period so far and actually coming away with some good scoring opportunities. Yeah, a little more aggressive in the neutral life as well as that was backhanded in by the Midland High gimmick. Yeah, I'm curious to see if uh, motions start climbing and we start seeing some bigger hits. Because like you said, that first period, penalty free, pretty much hit free. Yeah, and I didn't see the, uh, the tripping penalty. That was off camera, but uh, the, the second one was definitely uh, the face wash. Yeah, it was definitely a good call. I think they called slashing, but is that what they call? I think so. Must have had the slash before the face wash. I don't know. I, I can't find face wash as a penalty. No, but oh, oh back we the rack. The Chargers score. Austin Soper. Austin Soper. He there. He got his goal. That's right. They took it away from him, and he just took it back. What a great redirect out front. A beautiful backhand by Soper. Let's take a look. Was Bessie. that Stottlemyre that threw it on net? Yeah, watch Stottlemyre right here in the right defenseman. Gets the puck. Doesn't even hesitate. Just throws it. So many defensemen. They get that puck. They want to stick handle. They give everybody a chance to score up on it. Stottlemyre gets it, and as soon as he got it, throws it on net. Beautiful redirect by Soper. Two to one Chargers, just that fast. Yeah, beautiful backhand. Soper says, I'm going to get my name as credit for a goal one way or the other. And 
There was no doubt about that one. A beautiful shot by Soper and the Dow High Charger for a two to one lead with 11 and a half minutes to go. And now uh, Bootha is going to have to cover up a uh, another attempt. Yeah, Dow High has been doing a great job. Whoop, here he's a They're going to add Cameron Patty as a second assist on that uh, Dow High goal. So Soper from Stadelmeyer and Patty. Now Johnson got it and a shot fired. Bootha, he was busy in the first period. I think he's going to be busy here in the second period as well. Yeah, and Dow High is doing a great job. Great job of creating traffic up front, excluding that time where Johnson shot. Here's another but watch shot. that. Bootha's playing going left to right to, to make the save from the shot where Soper decides just to, to redirect, puts it into the open net. And the puck ends up lodged up above the glass. That doesn't happen very often. No, usually it whistles through. Souvenir for the fans, but they're going to have to try to get that one out. Well, they attempted. Somebody down there trying to do it. They yeah, do. that's exactly why you got to get that out now oh, yeah. before you have two pucks in play. I was surprised that they were going to play ball with uh, that puck still lodged there. But now here we go. Just over 11 minutes to go in the second period. Two to one Dow. Chargers trying to increase their lead. Kimmich's looking to get it out of the zone. Boozo's going to have to send it off to the side. Lazy looks to center it up. Can't do it. Now Yider working the puck. Centers it back around. It's going to go all the way around. Got a good three-on-two opportunity here, but Midland High, they've got to get some speed going. Numbers advantage, but they do nothing with it. Dow's, Dow's back check caught him before. I mean, Midland's got to come through that zone with pace. Yeah, almost like they were, you know, waiting for the Chargers to set up their defense. I don't think Dow's going to wait, but they lose the handle on the puck. So again, Midland High comes back. They don't have the numbers this time, but Pritchett's just going to dump it down so the gimmicks can go and do a line change. Good hold in by Mo right there. Chargers able to clear it out. All the way down. Churchfield yeah. with a good four check there. Down a lot more physical than what Midland High have been here tonight. That's the reason they're having so much success in their attacking zone. Midland High will bring it down to the zone this time around. Gavin Moe will have it briefly and then lose the handle on it. 9.37 to go here in the second period. About two and a half weeks to go in the postseason. The Midland High Chemex playing up in Division One at their postseason play, which will start at the end of February. We'll take a look at uh, that coming up when we get a stoppage of play if the Midland High Kimmich win the face off and in yeah, neutral life the Kimmich go right back into the Dow High zone. Kimmich trying to be a little more aggressive but they lost the handle on it and everybody's got to touch up and that will give the Chargers a chance to work something out. Yeah look at the two forwards out here at the far blue really spreading the D making the Midland Kimmich play soft so they can't hold the puck into their attacking zone. Chargers across the blue line. Looking to center something up if Shane A strike, but Midland High's defense not allowing A strike. So A strike says I'll skate it in and a backhand attempt is off the mark. A strike's oh. got the puck again. I think A strike's going to get uh, called for a penalty. An interference penalty. A strike had the puck, lost the puck, checked the Kemet player. Unfortunately, the Kemet player didn't have the puck. Now the Dow High Chargers were penalty free. Penalties have been an issue. Let's take a look at this, Vesey. And uh, well, Shane just doing a great job of keeping the puck alive in the attacking zone. Gets the puck, takes the puck, but right there, you can see with the chemical player without the puck, getting a little too aggressive. That's almost a, a textbook case of interference. Yeah, definitely. I think he thought that the chemical player kind of played the puck and was the last to touch it, but as you can see by the replay. The Kimmich player never did and such, touched the puck. So the Midland High Kimmich will have uh, another power play. They had one earlier this period. 
could not capitalize on it, so they'll have another chance. Kept into play across the near board for the Midland High Chemics. Well, Midland had their best scoring opportunities during that power play, so. Nathan Witt had a shot there. The junior puts it on a goal, forcing Lemansky to uh, cover it up for the, the Dow High Chargers. It's a two to one game, so this is definitely something where the Midland High Chemics, the power play goal, you're right back into this thing. Absolutely, as much as they're getting outshot right now, one, I mean, they're one goal away from a tie game. But then Dow High clears it into neutral life, forcing Midland High to reshift their focus. Chargers defense is so strong. If this one was set all the way down, but we're in a power play situation. Yeah, and they're fast too. I mean, they get the puck and they take off. Again, Dow High will clear it all the way. Forcing Bufa to come out of net. Not giving the uh, the Kimmicks. The Kimmicks had one shot by Witt, but they've been unable to uh, control the puck, even though it's the Midland High Kimmicks that have the power play. Now Pritchett will work it down for Midland High. Tyler Pritchett trying to feed it over to uh, Zawaki. Now the shot taken by Nathan Witt. The puck is still loose in front of the net. Everybody battling for it in the that is off, and now we've got some pushing and shoving after the fact, and some more pushing and shoving as the linesmen earn their pay. One of the Chargers got a Kowaki and a chokehold. So I'm sure there's going to be some penalties coming out of uh, this situation. Well, a good puck on net, and uh, Lemansky thought he had it underneath him, but the puck was free, so the Chemex kept, you know, you watch the puck here after the shot on net. It never really gets frozen down, so Midland High keeps hacking and whacking. Dow High doing what they normally do. See how it, oh, oh my God, it so almost close. snuck in. Yeah, that that was very close to coming in, and then after the uh, the whistle, more pushing and shoving. I'm, I'm guessing there's gonna be at least one charger, maybe not. Maybe there was no, uh, no penalties called. Yeah, uh, probably called it even. Dow High protecting their goalie. Midland High protecting their right to attack the net and score goals. So no penalties called on the uh, little get together. There's a hard hit by Mason Reed for the Dow High Chargers and the Chargers clear it all the way down. We're saying Luke Buffa to come together. Great camera work by our MCTV staff and volunteers. I was surprised just how uh, how close that puck was to going in. Well, absolutely. From our angle, it looked like it was just floating around the goalie. But great camera work down behind the net. Another rebounding shot. Wrap Rapper. around. Kimiko. Rapper. I think that's snotty. Nope. Tanner squares. With but. 10 seconds left in the power play, the Kimmick will tie things up with a power play goal. Yeah. Tanner squares with a nice little wrap around. Let's take a look, Vesey. Yeah, Lemansky a little, a little slow getting left to right. He, well, he first makes the save, thought he's going to have it covered. That's why he was a little slow getting over there left to right. But uh, Squire's doing a good job keeping that puck alive and doing the old-fashioned wraparound. The sophomore Tanner Squire picking up the power play goal for the Midland High Chemics, and we find ourselves tied 2-2. Two to two. We got now we've Coach Blazy uh, interested in something. Yeah, not sure what... Uh, what Blasey was talking about, the one official comes over to talk to uh, Steve Witt, but uh, we're the playing. Been we're, drop play. yeah, we're playing drop hockey. So all tied up on, uh, thanks to that, you know, the nice wraparound by Squires. Well, yeah, he took advantage of Lemansky um, trying to cover the puck. So we've had a couple of nice uh, goals here in the second period. They're going to. They're going to give Cam Gardner and Brady Penwar assists on the uh, Midland High goal scored by Squires. Well, Lemansky makes the first save, and they're just keeping that puck alive. It was a good attack, but, you know, finally some life out of Midland High's four checkers. Again, we've got a uh, whistle, and again, we've got some extracurricular activity. We didn't have any penalties called a couple of minutes ago. Uh, we'll see. Well, uh, they show a replay of that. One of the Dow players kind of had their stick right in the chest of Booza, and accessorized the, the uh, stick motion in Booza, shall we say. Yeah, and this time, I, I don't think there was anything uh, really to call penalty-wise. Just a 
jumped hockey, but let's take a look. Yeah, well, watch right down to low. Blues has already, he's already made the stop. The whistle's already blown, like right here. He's got it. He doesn't drop anything, so play's blown dead. Right, oh, there, right there, right there, right that's, there. That's what made him mad. I'm yeah. not sure who that was. Yeah, I'm not sure who it was, but uh, in hindsight, I think Midland should be on a power play right now. Yep, I would agree on that one. It'd be different if Booza didn't, you know, if you shuttle, bubbled it or something, but it looked like it was a, a clean save, clean whistle. We stay even, and we are even. We're all tied up two to two in this Saginaw Valley League contest. Not many Valley games have been played this season because of uh, the weather. A lot of cancellations will be a busy last couple of weeks of the season. Midland High being a lot more aggressive and a lot more successful here in the second period. Yes, but they got to put that puck on net. Shot Two taken. great opportunities for shots and then nothing on net. Dow's defense is so good that they're not going to give you a lot of those opportunities. Blasey goes across the blue line, and again, another save made by Busa. A little no-look shot there. Looking in the corner for the pass, and just throws it on net right in the last second. Nice save by Busa. Keep this thing knotted at two. And the postseason coming your way in uh, a couple of weeks for both of these teams, the uh, Midland High Chemics. Well, let's take a look at this. Before we talk about the postseason, let's talk about... Uh, there it is. See how the puck's kept alive? Nice little wrap around Dow High, helping the uh, the redirect into the net as well. And that was the last Midland High goal that Squires was able to to wrap in. Just under five minutes to go here in the second period. Two to two between the Kimmix and the Chargers. Midland High will clear it out into neutral life. Chargers will pump it back into the uh, other direction. Nielsen now finding Pritchett, but Pritchett can't do anything with the uh, puck. Dow High have picked up the physicality of this game a little bit. The question is, you know, Midland High a little more aggressive offensively. Will the Kimmicks match the uh, physicalness of this contest? Well, I think they're definitely trying to answer the call, and that's why this thing's tied at two right now, as they are a lot more aggressive on the four-tech. Oh, yeah, we got a penalty coming. We're going to have a slash, slash. but uh, we'll see. It's going to be the uh, third penalty, or the, the it's going to be the first penalty. Oh, somebody's got to go. It is yep, Sonati. Yep, yeah. Sonati's going for slash. I did not see it, but. So Ethan Sonati will go to the penalty box for the Midland High Kimmicks first penalty of the game uh, against the Kimmicks for the Dow High Chargers will be on a power play. We'll see what the uh, Chargers can do here with the uh, man advantage. Flashing the call on Snotty. Dow High now working from the far side. The shot goes wide and will go into the neutral zone. The top line on the ice for the Dow High Chargers skates across the blue line does uh, Johnson. Feeds it backwards to Blasey, back to Johnson. Oh, a strike with a wide open net and just shoots it wide. Nice feed across by Johnson. A strike wants that one back. Blasey feeds it over to the far side. Shot taken there, and it goes in. Blasey finishing the garbage up front. But I tell you what, lots of point blank range. Booza, one save, two save, three saves. But Blasey just sneaks in from high slot. Finds the open net and puts it in the back of the net. I think Alec Newton was the one that may have started this. You got the one save, the second save, and Blazy just sneaking in from the high slot. Booza have no chance. Blazy from the middle will pick up the Dow High power play goal just 20 seconds into the penalty. The Dow High Chargers capitalize. So Dow High on a uh, three to two advantage. Thanks to that power play goal. They're gonna give Shane a strike the assist for the Dow High Chargers. So Luke plays here the first goal and now the Chargers have gotten the puck back down to the Midland High zone. Newton was trying to find Yider that time around. Now Blazey back in the middle, but blocked off towards the Midland High defense, but Blazey will come right back with the uh, puck. Kimmicks need to clear it out, and Tanner Squires does just that. Yider with a nice move at center ice. 
Comes away with the puck again, dumps it behind him. Coming across are the uh, Dow High Chargers. Shane Ape strike. Nope, it's going to be kicked back aside. 2.45 to go here in the second period. Chargers with a 3-2 lead. Each team with a power play goal here in the second period. Now Gavin Moe will come across for the Midland High Chemics, working behind the net of the freshman goalie in net for Dow High. Well, I tell you what, if I'm Midland High right now, I should uh, learn that the Dow High power play is lethal <laughs> and make sure they're staying out of the penalty box. 100%. That was a nice looking 20 second power play. Ran to perfection by the Dow High Chargers. And the only reason it was 20 seconds because from 10 seconds in, A strike missed the open net to the right. But he made up for it, got the nice helper. Kimmick's looking to clear things out. Well, they do, they put the puck into neutral life. Midland played a decent second period. Trying to overcome the number eight team in Division Three, the Dow High Chargers. And now we've got a penalty and a stoppage as uh, Matt Witt and Charlie Johnson end up uh, tangled up with each other. We'll see if uh, one or both. Sending both is goes. what I heard. I heard both. That is exactly what it was uh, going to be called. So Got Charlie Johnson goes for Dow and uh, Matt Witt will go for Midland High. Let's see if we can pick up what happened. Well, a little good scrum against the boards. Right at the bottom of your screen. There's the check by Witt. Good hit there. And nice hold on Witt. There's the takedown by Johnson. And I, I did we, not see what Witt did. I don't either. If they called a hold on both, I would have to say Witt is a victim of circumstance. I believe you would be right. Johnson's penalty was pretty obvious, but uh, I did not see uh, anything that Witt did that put him in the box. But on the left, that is what we have. But we're skating four on four. And now we've got a little extracurricular stuff again going on. Midland High getting more aggressive after the whistle. I, I think Midland may be getting, you know, the, the Dow High Chargers are a physical team. And over time, that will uh, may instigate and frustrate opposition. Well, yeah, and they're, the Dow High players right now, they're really getting in Booza's face. Watch this right here at the end. Booza's got the puck froze. A little extra poke yeah. and go. I, I, would, I would do. Midland High defending their goalie, no doubt about that. So without a doubt, you know what happened down to Lemansky, happened down to Booza, and the you know the results were the same from both defenders. Protect your goalie. One hundred percent. Booza's going to cover it up again. Stopping play at 132 of the second period. They're skating with one man in each penalty box. Keep forgetting high school hockey stays uh, five on five, not four on four. Would have been four on four if we were uh, playing at a higher level. Yep. But high school hockey skates five on five, and they'll have to wait for a stoppage to get out of the penalty box. A strike with a nice shot on goal. Clearing Booze's head over the net, though, harmless. Here comes Blazy. Nice move. Keeps control of the puck. Blazy still has it, keeps it. In the Midland High zone before dumping it down. Crashing in, and we've got a whistle as we've hit the one minute mark of this contest. In the oh. second period, yeah, three to two, Dow High with the lead. Nielsen and Yider kind of uh, talking to each other a little bit there, that whole shift. They'll both get to go take a break, cool down a little bit. Well, they were the ones that. Uh, we're talking after the uh, after the last little get together. Here it is again. So we'll have to keep an eye on uh, on that situation. Yeah, the referees are going to have to make sure they're keeping an eye on things, keep her under control as well. Under a minute to go here in the second period, the puck ends up going off the netting, which will uh, stop play briefly. Puck will stay deep inside the chemic zone. Austin Sulfur and Luke Blazy, the two Dow High Chargers getting goals in the second period. Tanner Squires scoring a power play for Midland High. Face off to the left hand side of Busa. And a shot taken by A Strike floats over top of everybody and 
and the neutral ice. And we got the coaches inquiring to their alternate captains and their captains. A lot of chatting going on with the referees right now. A lot of people want to know what's going on with some of the extracurriculars, I'm assuming. Down into the Dow High zone with 30 seconds to go here in the second period. Been a very, very quick second period. Midland High putting on some pressure, trying to get that puck free. But it's the Chargers that come away with the puck. Skating back down, he strikes going to fire, goes wide of the net. Chargers getting uh, shot towards uh, Bootha. Now there, there's uh, a little bit of taunting good. by the Dow High Chargers. And, uh, good time for an intermission break. Uh, <laughs> I think so. Temper's beginning to, uh, to flare a little bit at the yeah. end of the uh, second period. I'm not sure if we'll call them tempers quite yet, but let's just say the emotions are starting to climb. Um, it's good to see. It's good to see that emotion, as long as you can keep that emotion in check because Midland High does need to get that life going. They need to protect their goalie just like Dow High does. But I tell you what, uh, you know, it's a one-goal game. We got 17 minutes to go. It is 3-2 to two in favor of the Dow High Chargers, a very entertaining second period of action being played. And uh, both, uh, well, right now the captains being gathered by the officiating crew, and I think uh, that's uh, the message that uh, will be sent to the, the captains is uh, let's uh, keep an eye on uh, what is going on and uh, take this intermission as a chance to uh, calm, uh, calm, the, calm the teams down a little bit. Uh, so you don't want to think to get out of hand, and we're nowhere near that point. No, no, no. I think it's good aggressive play that we just haven't seen. And now that we're starting to get some good hits and some good forechecking. We saw Steve Witt a moment ago, and there's uh, down coach Dick Blasey having a... Uh, having a, a few words as well. So definitely be interesting. Both coaches uh, right now on your screen uh, talking to the officials or the officials may be talking to them. Very, uh, well, if we had the referees mic'd up, that'd be a, a great, that great time been a good there one. To, to hear what uh, what was being said. But you, you know that uh, both Midland coach Steve Wood and Dow coach Dick Blasey definitely have uh, opinions to be had that they are letting the officiating crew know exactly uh, their feelings. Well, and yeah, with the layout of the rink here, their locker rooms are side by side, so both coaches basically come and go from the same doors. They cool. do get a chance to talk with each other. So after all of that, we have reached the end of the second period here at the uh, Midland Civic Arena with the Dow High Chargers on top, three to two over the Midland High Chemex. We're gonna take a quick timeout when we come back. We're gonna take a look at what's on tap for these teams when it comes to the postseason. And we've got 17 more minutes of high school hockey coming your way here on MPS TV. At the end of two, Chargers three, Chemex two, you're watching high school hockey on MPS TV. Midland Community Television has exciting news for Midland area nonprofits. Recently, MCTV has undergone changes both technologically and organizationally to help you share your story better and reach your audience wherever they are. Our new services include public service announcements, special event recordings, audio podcasts, YouTube video, live TV broadcasts streamed online, and more. Call 837-3474 for details. Follow us on Facebook and search for MCTV Community Voices on YouTube or podcast platforms for more local stories. Join us to build a better community through media at MCTV.
We are back at the Midland Civic Arena. 17 more minutes to go when it comes to a regulation of the second meeting between the Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers. Right now, Dow High with a 3-2 to two lead at the end of the second period. About two and a half weeks left in a busy regular season due to a large number of cancellations due to the weather issues we have had. They're going to be putting in a lot of hockey in the next two and a half weeks, but then they've got regionals coming at the end of February, and uh, this will be the final Kimmich Charger meeting of the year because they're in different divisions. Midland High's postseason looks like this in Division One. They will take on the co-op Bay City team on Monday, February 25th at 4.45. That will be played over in Saginaw. The winner of that game will play Flushing on Wednesday at 7 at the Bay County Ice Arena. And then the regional final will be on Saturday, March 2nd, 5 p.m. back at the Saginaw Bay Ice Arena. So that's the Midland High Chemex that will be in Division One, And Saginaw Heritage, the team to beat in that division. Dow High, meanwhile, they go to Ferris State. They will take on Big Rapids in their opener on Monday, February 25th. That will be played on the campus of Ferris State. The winner of the game between Dow and Big Rapids will take on Powerhouse Flint Powers on Wednesday, February 27th. And that should be a great game if the Chargers get by Big Rapids in the regional final back at Ferris State on Saturday, March 2nd at 7 o'clock. So the Dow High Chargers, some uh, Big games coming up on their end of the of the postseason. Dow High down in Division Three. Midland High opting to play up in Division One. Yeah, you can always opt to go up, but you can't go down. But it makes more sense to go up to Division One because Division Two is just loaded with a lot of those schools that just recruit from all over the state. Yeah, you don't you want to avoid Division Two if you're a high school hockey team. Let's take a look at the busy second period. Lots of action to talk about in the second period. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's going to start right off the bat with Dow High just working the puck around, getting that beautiful redirect. If you watch Stottlemyre, he just doesn't even hold the puck, fires it as soon as it comes. Great redirect out front. Nice Off goal. Yeah, Austin Filper with the back end. Midland tied it back up a few minutes after that. Yeah, he had. Uh, uh, was it Squires there or so? Yeah, you know, Tanner Squires. Yeah, Squires doing the nice wraparounds. Lemansky, you know, trying to cover the puck, just doesn't quite get there. Beautiful wraparound play for Squires. We were tied for a while, and uh, then Luke Blasey says, let's change that right from the middle. Blasey able to put it in for the, uh, the Dow High Chargers. That would be go-ahead goal for Dow High. Well, we talked about the 20 seconds of power play Dow High was on, but it was just, just lethal. Pass, pass, shot, pass, pass, shot, 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 pass, and... You know, found the back of the net within 20 seconds. There's uh, Luke's dad, Dick Blasey, the head coach of the Dow High Chargers. There's only been the name Blasey associated with Dow High hockey. Yep, the Blaseys have been around forever. Dickie taking over for his dad. A great tradition over there at Dow High. So here we go, third period, ready to get underway here at the Midland Civic Arena. The Chargers on top by a goal. Three to two. Midland High goalie Luke Buza has played phenomenal tonight for the Midland High Chemex. Cowan Lemansky, the freshman goalie, getting the start for the Dow High Chargers. He's had times where he can just sit back and watch a little bit because most of the action has been down in the Midland High zone. Yeah, Chemex showing life from time to time. Obviously, getting the two goals with the, the putting the puck on net, but Dow High putting the puck on often. And often and often, and uh, Booza standing tall to the task, keeping this thing close. Now we saw tempers begin to flare towards the end of the second period. Do you think the, uh, the intermission came at the right time, giving both of these teams a chance to settle down? Oh, absolutely. I mean, they've been playing so good up and down the ice, you don't want your emotions to, to make anything happen because you see how deadly the power play is. So, yeah, good time to cool their jets and fire it back up. Cleared out nicely by the Midland High defense that time around. Dow High will look to set something up with the puck. They'll feed it forward, but the Midland High gimmicks will attempt to come back the other direction. Just underway here in the third period. Dow High so good on defense. Backhand shot by, uh, will not make it to the net by Yider. Yeah, Dow's defense doing a good job keeping Chemex on you know, red line back. So Midland High's got to find a better way to get pace going through the neutral zone. 
get pucks deep. Oh, caught on the change. Here comes A-Strike. Yeah, breakaway for A-Strike. Thought about firing up. Now he'll skate it in, and Buffo will make the save. A-Strike was all by himself. Now Midland High will look to come back the other way. Mo will drop it in for the Midland High gimmicks. Dow High Chargers by the... Nolan Sanders with a good little play there, but good defense by Chemex. Yeah, I don't think it took too long to get the tempers going back up a little bit. But there's no uh, no penalty coming after a hard hit of the board. There's another uh, crash in right in front of our cameras. We've got a, about a dozen staff and volunteers. There's a hit right into your uh, living room. Compliments of John Wagner. Seven cameras bringing you the action here on MPF TV. Right now, the action is in the neutral zone if the teams try to go for line changes. Yep, Dow's bringing the physical play right back out of the locker room. Yeah, Cam Patty had a pretty nice uh, check right in front. Now Patty lost his stick. His stick broke it half, so broke he's got to go to the sideline. Well, Dow High likes to play physical hockey. Midland High, not a very physical team. Gardner getting a shot for the Midland High gimmicks. We'll see if Midland picks up uh, the aggressiveness and the physicality a little bit as the puck goes all the way down for an icing call. Yeah, Midland's going to have to step up their play here. I mean, they're only down a goal. Next shot, you know, is a, is a pivotal shot right here, but Dow High definitely bringing out the physical play. Chemists are going to have to answer the call right here. Stay aggressive. Get some pucks on net. Three to two in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Alec Newton, Austin Sulfur, and Luke Blasey with the three Dow High goals. Travis Grimaldi. Here comes a two-on-one break. And Tanner oh. Squires have scored for Midland. Chargers had another breakaway attempt, but just did. out too far in front of Alec Newton. Yider with the puck, shot taken, blocked by the Midland High defenseman. Now the battle for the puck in front of Busa, and Busa is able to cover it up. Yep, good uh, block there by the defenseman right in front of him. Buza with the easy save. But the turnovers in the, the uh, neutral zone are starting to hurt the Chemex here a little bit more and more. A great two-on-one break turned into a two-on-zero, oh, but the crossing pass just too far in front of Newton. So the face-off will be to the left of a very busy Luke Buza, won by Midland High this time around. Nathan Witt coming away. But can the Chemex clear it out of their zone? They do briefly in the neutral ice and then sent right back down the other direction by Joey Johnson. Midland High hanging with the Chargers on the scoreboard, three to two. Chargers coming into this game ranked in the top 10 in the state. Midland High looking to clear it down neutral ice, but Chargers again, a different idea. They were trying to find Luke Blasey that time around. Blasey's got the puck right now behind the net for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High will clear it out. Can't do it. Johnson keeps it in play. Oh. And Johnson fires. It was redirected. But the goes in. Joey Johnson with a shot for the Dow High Chargers. Booza never saw that. That puck just had eyeballs going all the way in. Nice stop at the blue line by Johnson. Beautiful shot. Let's see if we can find the good angle shot. But watch Johnson just put it on net. I think it deflected it, maybe off the shoulder of a Midland High defenseman. Yeah, it could have been knocked off the Kemmick there. It's hard to tell for sure. But nonetheless, a nice quick wrist shot by Johnson. And I may have inadvertently been uh, directed by Connor Dunlap into the uh, net. Couldn't tell exactly from that angle, but nonetheless, regardless of uh, who directed it in, they gave, gave credit. To, uh, to Joey Johnson. So it wasn't deflected by any Charger. Johnson gets credit for the goal, and the Dow High Chargers have a 4 to 2 lead. And yeah, the Chargers doing a good job there of screening Booza. A lot of traffic up front. He never saw it, but a great shot by Johnson. For now, the Midland High gimmick will have to figure out a way to try to come back against a very tough Dow High team. John Wagner will skate it in, and 
A stop of play if the puck goes into the, the glove of Bufa. Let's take a look again at that shot. We'll see if we can find out where it was deflected. So here we go. Hard to tell. I don't know if it went, maybe from this angle we can see if it goes off Dunlap's shoulder. Can't tell. No, nope, just can't tell. Can't tell, so we'll, we'll call it clean for uh, Joey Johnson. Great shot nonetheless. Johnson with the credit for the goal. Rightfully so. Held his ground at the blue line. Didn't hesitate, put the puck on net. Good things happen. Four different Dow High Chargers getting the puck in net during this contest. 11.45 to go. Shot taken by Dow High. Shane Ape strike was a kick save made. Now they try to center it back up and Boozo's gonna have to cover it up. Yeah, Midland needs to, they need to realize they, they're just one shot away from a one goal game right now. They can't lay back on their heels because Dow High, they can, they can smell it. They wanna just keep pumpering. Midland needs to find a way to get the puck deep, get some pucks on net. Well, it's good if Dow High have been as aggressive as Dow High have been in the game. If you're the Midland High gimmicks, what do you need to do to, to get that goal? Well, one thing they gotta do is they gotta come through the neutral zone with pace. They're trying to, to skate the buck past the, the uh, Dow High defenders. They're just standing them up at the red line. It's easy to do when you, when you don't have that pace, but if they can get some speed coming out of their defensive zone, have pace coming through the neutral zone, because the Dow High defenders, when you have speed coming at them, they have no choice but to, to back in, play defensively. Now the Midland High Kimmick were trying to go for a, uh, a late substitution. And the official is not going to allow that to happen. Midland's been subbing late, and Midland's the visiting team in this contest. So Dow High actually has the, the left line change, and Midland's been doing a lot of late substitutions. This time around, the official says that is not going to happen, but I, I don't think Steve Witt is all that happy. There's a discussion going on in front of the Midland High bench that... Uh, well, there is, there is a protocol. I mean, once the referee puts his arm, he looks at you, he puts his arm up, that means you're done. Dow High, they got a chance to have last change. So after all of that, uh, not allowing Midland High to make that last substitution, they drop the puck and we continue the action here tonight. 11.25 on the clock, Dow High leading by two. Chargers have got oh, the Oh, we got puck. a hook going on Grimaldi. And we've got a penalty, this is not what... Uh, no, Travis Grimaldi trying to slow play down a little bit. I don't think he really, really meant to hook, but he stopped moving his legs. Yeah, stopped the down player and easy call. If you're Midland High, this is not what you want to have happen. You're down by two goals. And now the Dow High Chargers are on the power play. It took Dow High just 20 seconds to score on a power play back in the second period. And Dow High's got their number one line fresh and out there again. So pivotal point, Dow High wants to uh, Start putting this game away. Midland High needs to kill a power play and score a goal to get back into this contest. We'll see what transpires. Chargers with the puck around net. Now Blasey working over to Johnson. Johnson looks to center it up. Kick save made by Booza. Trying to sneak Shane Eistrake in the uh, offside there to get a, a weak side goal. But the gimmick's unable to clear. Now center up, back in. Booza makes one save. A strike's got it now to Johnson. Shot, kick save, rebound. Another kick save made by Booza. Another shot, another kick save. And the Kimmicks clear it out down into the neutral zone. Tyler Pritchett trying to put a foot race on the Chargers. Could not do it. Now Blazy's got the puck. Blazy thought about firing, decides against it. Skates in a little bit. Looks to dump, and the Kimmicks will come back. A two-on-one advantage for Midland High. Pritchett trying to battle Johnson one-on-one. -on -one. Four check made by Johnson. That allows the rest of the Dow defenders to catch up. Yep, a uh, little miscommunication there between Blazy and A-Strike. Blazy thought A-Strike was going to attack for the uh, back door. Again, just not a lot of speed on those Midland High breakaway attempts. No, no, they, they didn't. Uh, they need to kick that in. And a lot of things happen. You can draw a penalty against him, even this thing up. 30 seconds remain in the power play. Chargers A strike will scoot it in for the Dow High Chargers. Battle back into the corner. 15 seconds to go in the power play. 
Looking to clear it out behind the net. The Chargers with the puck. Looking to center things up. A strike. We'll send it behind him. Final seconds of the power play. Off the far side, Bufa makes another great save, and we've got another penalty coming. The Dow or the Midland High penalty is done. And what do we have here? Well, the I Midland think we High got another Midland open. High player coming in. So they killed Snotty. one power play, but now Ethan Snotty is going to be coming into the penalty box. I think roughing was the call. Did not uh, did not see what happened. Must have been behind the play a little bit. Let's see Maybe if we can we'll see, see it. Maybe we'll see it here. So Snyder's right down with low. a save. I think it happened off camera. There's Dick Blazy. We've got a timeout that will uh, stop action with 9.16 to go. I'm not sure who took the timeout. I'm pretty sure Dow High took the timeout. Dick Blazy's number one power play unit was tired because they played about a minute and a half of that. If not, almost the whole two minutes. And since they... Uh, Barely got their the middle high barely got their player back and they went back into the box. He's he's doing a couple of things right now. He's telling them how he wants them to run this power play and getting his number one line fresh. Well, we've got all kinds of ways that you can share your story through MCTV. You can create a TV show, put your videos on YouTube, promote your programs on social media, and even create an audio podcast to uh, reach a whole new audience. That's what we need. Northwood Hockey Podcast. There we go. Yeah. Ideas just flowing out this today. If you want more information on how you can become an MCTV volunteer and how you can uh, watch your program in high definition on YouTube or many of the other features available through MCTV Media, you can uh, call MCTV 837-3474. Dick Blasey, head coach of the Dow High Chargers. Steve Witt, head coach of the Midland High Kimmicks concluding their respective talks to uh, their team during that timeout. Dow High will be on a power play thanks to a roughing penalty called against uh, Ethan Snotty. And the Dow High Chargers, Johnson is going to skate it right in before having the puck deflected away. Number 12, two Shane minutes for roughing. Dow High power side. play. Finding Luke Blasey. Blasey goes back to Johnson, but the Defense of Midland High. Cade Nielsen coming up with that stop. Eight strike fires in again. Booza able to make a kick save. Just 30 seconds into the power play. Kimmich need to clear it out. Blasey looking to skate it in. Now he'll skate it out the other direction. Back to Johnson who fires. And another save made by Booza. Rebound attempt is no good and the net is off. So that will stop play. Yeah, Johnson another quick shot there and Yeider hanging out front of the net with the redirect but Booz again, you know, kick save after kick save, keeping this thing a two goal game. Let's take a look. And Booz has been doing a great job in net. He's given up four goals to the Dow High Chargers, but those have been four well earned goals. Absolutely. Johnson with the puck for Dow High. We'll get it back. Gates towards the middle, a minute to go in the power play. Tried to shovel it in with a strike, and Buzo will cover that up. Yeah, trying to work that back door. A strike just sneaking in down low. Redirect, but again, Buza, watch how quick he gets over here. Right here, reads it, gets over. Yeah, a strike nice, needs to try to take that up a little higher. You know you got to fully coming over low. Take that shot up high. Buza trying to keep Midland into this game if they're battling pretty much what has been a uh, a long power play. Kimmich do uh, get the puck down to the Dow High zone during the faceoff, giving him a little chance to reset. Little under a minute to go in the power play. A strike will come across with the puck for the Chargers. Now Luke Blasey will take it. Blasey skate again. Backhand. Busa makes the save. Puck stays alive. 30 seconds to go, and the Kimmich will clear. The puck all the way down. That will give Midland a chance to hit a line change, get some fresh feet on the ice. 20 seconds to go. A strike. Skates across the blue line. A strike. Looking for some place to go. Dumps the puck down. I believe that's Yider. Nope. Blazy. Now it's Yider. Battling in the corner. Centers back up to A strike. 
Now Blasey, shot fired, puck is still loose. Boozer made the initial save. The power play is done for the Midland High Gimmicks, clearing back-to-back -back power plays. Shot there taken by Johnson to try to backhand it in, and Boozer just standing on his head for about four minutes solid, not allowing the Chargers to come away with a goal. Oh, absolutely. He's left and right and left and right, up and down. Great job by Booza. Midland High answering the call, though, after that first down high penalty in the previous period. Midland High killing back to back. Keeping this thing a two goal game. Four to two. Still anybody's game, although Dow High definitely have kept the puck down in the Midland High zone for the vast majority of the action. The Kimmicks a breakaway away from pulling within one. Yeah, and they're getting to the point now where they're going to have to start taking more chances, like right here. Take off and go. Whoop, little redirect. Just a bad angle pass. Sure, Nielsen would like to have that one back because that was a good opportunity right there to see if you can't get something happening. 6.43 here in the third. High school hockey wrapping up our regular season coverage of high school sports. You can go back in the archive, check out uh, Midland versus Dow and boys basketball, girls girls basketball, ice hockey and wrestling this, uh, this winter. Our staff and volunteers have been busy. Midland High, again, they need to, to clear it out. They do. They put it into neutral life. Can they get something going on their offense and get down into the Dow High zone? They do, but it's Dow High that will send it back the other way. Gardner will fire it towards the net, but Stadelmeyer will send it back the other way. Now Midland High, Travis Grimaldi comes across the blue line. Grimaldi fires off the glove of Lemansky. Grimaldi has one goal, trying to take advantage of the freshman goalie. Could not do so. Yeah, but they do what they need to do. You get to get the pucks on net. Right now, you're down two. No shot's a bad shot right now. Isaac Daniel could not catch up with the pass. Now Midland High will come back again. Travis Grimaldi, he's got about four different chargers on him because Midland High was in a line change, and we've got a penalty coming against the chargers. Yep, Soper's going to go for an elbow. Now, Grimaldi had everybody's attention, but the Kimmich if they could have gotten somebody free. Yeah, I mean, four guys keying on one guy. You got to have somebody else open. But Grimaldi is going to head over to the bench for the Midland High gimmick, feeling the uh, the effect of the Dow High elbow. So the Midland High gimmick will be on the power play. Gimmicks have one power play goal back in the second period. Let's take a look here quickly to see where the soap right there. There's the elbow a little high to the chest. Kimmick trying to take advantage as we return back to live action. Well, you got the man advantage, so you want to work the puck around as fast as you can, but you also want to get some shots on net. Charger for the breakaway, down a man. Luke Blasey doesn't care. He puts a shot in, and Busa comes up with the save. Chargers leading by two. Kimmich, if there was a time to capitalize, it is right now for Midland. They've got a power play for the next 90 seconds. But the puck right now, well, right now it's the neutral zone. Yeah, Blazy's doing a good job there. One on the one on the Kimmich for the most part, keeping the puck in the attacking zone, even though they were shorthanded. Back into neutral ice. Big check into the board by Johnson. Now they battle down to the corner, but if the Chargers, they're able to clear it out. Yeah, Midland High having trouble getting in the zone to set it up right now. Under a minute to go in the power play. Squires have the puck stolen away by Geider. Geider tries to skate it in, but can't do so. But the Chargers have had more scoring chances down a man than what Midland High has been able to capitalize on being on the power play. 35 seconds to go. Midland High trying to skate down the side. Connor Dunlap had the game-winning goal in Midland's last game, but could not get through the Dow High defense, and Lemansky covers it up. I think it was uh, Matt Witt that had the overtime winner from Pinwa. Okay, I stand corrected. Coach Witt's kid. Did uh, one timer Dun out Dunlap of the corner? Must have had the goal and send it into overtime. I don't he must have. The only reason I know is we were in Northwood was playing right after him. Our entire team was there watching. 
exciting hockey up and down the ice. Four minutes to go in regulation. Ten seconds remaining. Midland High's got one more chance to get a uh, advantage on this power play. Grimaldi may be the man to do it, but has the puck knocked away. And we've got a whistle and a stoppage. Off sides, apparently. I was just about to be impressed with how Midland High took the puck with the neutral zone with some pace, trying to get it in the zone. Had numbers, but they had numbers because they were off sides. Well, two seconds left. Got a chance to win the draw, get her deep, and get a shot. There's a look from Luke Busa and his counterpart on the other end, Colin Lemansky. Chargers win the face off. The power play is done. A successful power kill for the Dow High Chargers. Five on five, three and a half to go. Trying to feed it into Blasey, but knocked away by the gimmicks. Chargers leading by two. And what has been uh, on the scoreboard, a very close battle, but the Chargers have had possession of the puck. If, you, if this was football and you talked about time of possession, it would clearly favor the Chargers. Yep, without a doubt, but that's the beauty part of the game. You got a hot goalie giving your team a chance to win. And Booth has been playing incredibly well. Here we there's go, a, break. There's the breakaway that Midland may need. Tyler Pritchett, but stealing it right back. Mason Reed on defense for the Dow High Chargers. Dow High Stadelmeyer will dump it in. Bufa will feed it to one of his teammates. Now this game, I think both teams will have uh, something that they can uh, take away from this uh, from this contest. Uh, again, we mentioned you know about two and a half weeks in the regular season, but a busy two and a half weeks because they've got several makeups that they have to uh, to get in. A lot of Saginaw Valley hockey left to be played. Yeah, they're definitely going to get a lot of ice time, so they should be in good shape going into the uh, postseason. Gavin Moe across the blue line, numbers advantage, but they can't do anything with it. Feed it back towards the center. How about a long shot from the blue line taken by Grimaldi, and it ends up deflected off into the netting. Buza getting pulled there for the extra attacker. Nope, he's going back in the net now. Wasn't sure if he thought it was a delayed penalty or if they were trying to. Well, with the faceoff down on the uh, the Dow High end. Midland High is going to take a timeout and draw it up. And you see from uh, each end of the rink, but we've got a timeout to stop action. 148 on the clock. Midland High looking to come up with a game plan and a 4 to 2 battle here at the Midland Civic Arena. High School Hockey on MPF TV produced by MCTV volunteers. Again, if you'd like to become a MCTV producer or volunteer, all you have to do is contact us and become an MCTV volunteer. There's the uh, website, the City of Midland website. You can also call 837-3474 to become an MCTV volunteer. Learn how to run professional video cameras, edit using Final Cut Pro editing software, and a whole lot more. The cost is just $45 per year. Again, there's the phone number, 837-3474 to become an MCTV volunteer. If we take a look at the uh, both coaches doing what they do, Dick Blasey on the left-hand side of your screen, Steve Witt on the right-hand side, talking to the players on the, uh, well, Steve Witt letting his assistant coach do the uh, the navigating to the players. He was talking a few moments ago to one of the referees to find out where the faceoff was. Dick Blasey doing the instructing himself down on the uh, other end. Well, Midland High drawing up a faceoff plan. What they need to do, they need to win the draw back to D. D needs to get the puck on net, and Midland High needs to attack the net and, and uh, bury any rebound opportunity. We did not uh, catch that camera. Nick Mammel was the uh, assistant coach for Midland High that was uh, doing most of the X's and O's during that timeout. Great to have assistant coaches and then you can sit back and uh, let them do the work. Absolutely. That's what they're there for. 140 to go. 
Midland High. Snotty will keep it into the zone. Now Bufa leaves for Midland High. He's got an extra attacker. May not have been the uh, right time to do so because Dow High cleared it as uh, Bufa was trying to make it in. So Midland High has got a man advantage trying to score with 90 seconds to go. And Lemansky is going to reach out like an outfielder and come up with that puck. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Dow High, you want to keep that puck alive there if you can keep the clock running. Because right now you got another faceoff opportunity, but the Chargers have been winning faceoff after faceoff. So right now, you know, I'd feel pretty confident if I'm Dow High taking that faceoff. But Midland High needs to find a way to win this right here. They need a goal, and they need a goal in a hurry. Now, the gimmick's gambling, whether you lose 4 to 2 or 5 to 2. And that there it is. Different, but that might right there, the gamble pays off as Midland High's Nathan Witt. Hits a one-timer to make this a one-goal game. Beautiful shot in the upper corner. They win the draw back to Matthew Witt. Sends it back to his cousin, Nathan Witt. Nathan Witt with the one-timer. Bears it home. We got ourselves a one-goal game. But that's what was drawn up on the board previously, the attacking zone face-offs. Telling them how to exactly handle both sides. Let's but watch take a this. Look. Talked about the, the face-off importance. Kemix win the faceoff right back to Matthew Witt, right back to Nathan Witt, buries it just inside the corner. Beautiful faceoff win, beautiful pass to D, beautiful shot. Beautiful Tic tac toe. One, yeah, beautiful one timer by Witt. We've got just over a minute to go. It's a one goal game, four to three. Dow High with a slight lead. Midland High looking to get the puck back, trying to force overtime here. The Midland Civic Arena, Witt feeding it ahead. Unable to hold on to it as Pritchett. There goes Busa back to the bench for the Chemics again, the man advantage. It worked just a few moments ago. Clock down to 40 seconds. Grimaldi fires it in. Lemansky able to make the save, feeds it to a charger. Yep, and kept the play going. That's important. He didn't draw the whistle. He kept the puck going. Chemics, the charger's able to clear. We're going to have icing called as uh, Blasey tried to fire at the empty net. As we're saying, it doesn't matter if you lose by one goal, two goals, or three goals. So the Midland High Chemics have got nothing to lose at this point. They've got 30 seconds to go uh, all out and fire on Lemansky. Yeah, and you're right back to that faceoff play. Win the draw, back to D. D puts it on net. There we go. They won the faceoff again. Matt Wood had a shot that time. Could not come up with it. Oh, yep. the, the Chargers oh, should do it. Break that free, 20 seconds to go, and putting it in is Alex Newton. Newton will pick up his second goal. The empty netter will seal the win. And the Dow High Chargers just a little more aggressive. The Midland High defensemen played back on their heels, and Newton was able to come away with it. There it is. Is it going to go in? Yeah, a little help from Newton. And the well, Chargers just back a, to a two-goal lead. Just before then, you had the uh, the near-miss shot on the icing, but this time it was just a little chip to center ice. Dow High sneaking in behind the, the Chemex, but the Chemex definitely playing aggressive, trying to get the game equalizer. For the empty netter, gives Dow High a two-goal lead. Final seconds of the game now running down for Midland High. Connor Dunlap on the far side. Play went in offsides. And uh, we've got a whistle that is going to stop play with about uh, three seconds left. But the Dow High Chargers will pick up the win over the Midland High Chemics. And Dow High was the favored team coming into this contest. They played well, and they had to play well in order to pick up the win. There's the final horn of the contest, and the Chargers can officially celebrate a win. Yeah, I mean, the hot goalie kept this thing a close game early, and the Chargers found the net late, made it a good game. For the now high Chargers will celebrate. Freshman goalie Colin Lemansky will pick up the win for Dow High over the Crosstown rivals here tonight in a game that some people would have a tendency to say a little bit closer on the scoreboard than what was anticipated. In fact, Midland High scored the first goal of the game, but the Dow High Chargers, I think the key to this game, Vesey, was the defense to the Chargers played. Oh, absolutely. The, they kept the puck out of their defensive zone almost the entire game, which meant they were forechecking and, and putting pucks on net. I, I'm not sure if the 36. Yeah, we're. So 36-19 were your shots, but of the of the qualityness of the shots, I would have to say a good 20-22 of those 36 were point blank 
uh, Booza having to come up with the big leg saves, lick the uh, kick saves. Yeah, Luke Buffett did a terrific job for the Midland High Kimmix. Let's take a look at the goals from tonight's contest and a highlight reel put together by our MCTV staff and volunteers. This is the uh, starting of the scoring for Midland High and yep, Travis Grimaldi. Yep, caught Dow High on their heels a little bit. Just a beautiful shot inside the corner. Lemansky overplayed a bit. But Dow High coming right back with the equalizer and a beautiful bad angle shot down low. Alex Newton with his first of two. That was back in the first period. Now this was the power play that that just, um, or no, that was the Stottlemyre. Yeah, this is Austin Filfer with the backhand. Yep, great play. There's the Midland High power play goal, Tanner Squires. And yeah, nice little wrap around by Squires. Dow High's power play coming up, Luke Blazy. Yep, shot, save, shot, save, shot, goal. We move on to, this is the shot from Blazy again. Move on to the third period of action, one-timer. Yep, Johnson just with that laser shot, laser wrist shot just inside the post. Joey Johnson making it look good. Nathan Witt, one-timer. That gave Midland High some hope, but the Kimmicks within one. And then the empty netter, Alec Newton picks up the second goal of the game to seal the victory for the Dow High Chargers. So Alec Newton coming away with uh, two goals in the contest, but you know, Luke, Luke Busa for the Midland High Kimmicks did a great job. You know, he gave up four goals plus the empty netter, but overall this was a uh, you know, kind of that could have been a whole lot worse for Midland High. They definitely have things that Steve Witt can take away and say, we're going to build on something here, working for the final couple of weeks of, uh, of action. Yeah, I think Midland High played very well at times, and then that sometimes they got caught back on their heels. I think the biggest thing they still need to do is they need to be on attack mode. Booz has given them a chance to win the game on the defensive zone. They need to turn those saves into odd man rushes going up the ice, try to go through the neutral zone with a little more pace, and try to get more pucks on net. If you're the Dow High Chargers, so obviously Dick Blaze is going to be happy with another win on the uh, on the season. If you're the uh, if you're the Dow High Chargers, you still had a few penalties that I'm sure he wants to address, and that's really been the Achilles' heel of this Dow High Charger team. Is if they can stay out of the penalty box, this Dow High team has the ability to, to defeat a Big Rapids, to defeat a Flint Power. If this Charger team has a chance to make a run. They've got to continue to play smart hockey. Absolutely. First and third, they played very, very well, staying out of the penalty box. That second period, the emotions started climbing. You could tell that uh, both teams, they were in this. They were in it to win it. But unfortunately, Dow High going to the penalty box a few too many times. Um, they did give up the one you know, power play goal to Midland High. So but the, the uh, Dow High Chargers will come away picking up the win here tonight. Dow High improving to 12-7 and seven overall. They are now 2-2 two and two in the Saginaw Valley. Midland High dropping down to 7-9, 1-1 overall. They are 3-2. There's still a lot of Saginaw Valley hockey, so feel free to check out the schedules online for the respective teams. Come on down here to the Midland Civic Arena and catch the action. And then the postseason, the Midland High Chemics will play in Saginaw in Bay City. Dow High heads to Ferris State for their postseason coverage. As always, uh, Mike Vesna, I thank you for being by my side watching a little uh, ice hockey action. Well, it was a great game to watch. I mean, up and down the ice for the most part. Dow Chargers just showing why they can make a good run in the postseason. Midland High, you know, you got a good goalie. You know, the sky's the limit as long as you get some pucks on net. We thank you for watching. In a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. When you get a chance, thank those people for making high school sports possible. Without their help, we could not put these programs on the air here on MPS TV. We thank you for watching high school hockey. For Mike Vesta, my name is Jason Harper. The final score, the Dow High Chargers 5, Midland High 3. Thanks for watching.
With the MCTV Network, you can share your story through television, online video, social media, and podcasts. Since 1984, MCTV has provided public access to television for the people and organizations of Midland. This hasn't changed. However, there are many other ways for you to reach your audience wherever they are and whenever they want. Call 837-3474 for details. Follow us on Facebook and search for MCTV Community Voices on YouTube or podcast platforms for more local stories. Join us to build a better community through media at MCTV.